Welcome back to Scoop Canada, where we bring you the real stories behind the headlines and cut through the noise. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been making waves across the country Jagmeet Singh's recent stunt at a local food bank. While on the surface, it might seem like an act of charity, the reality is far more cynical. So let's break it down and talk about what's really going on here and how it ties into the broader failures of Justin Trudeau's liberal government. Jagmeet Singh showed up at a local food bank to pack bananas into brown bags and her families in need. A nice gesture, right? Not so fast. This is the same Jugmeet Singh who has propped up Justin Trudeau's government at every turn, enabling the very policies that have driven more Canadians to food banks in the first place. It's a classic example of trying to fix a problem you helped create, and Canadians aren't buying it. The truth is, Singh's appearance at the food bank is nothing more than a photo op designed to distract from the real issues. Let's not forget that this is the same NDP leader who, despite his rhetoric, has consistently supported Trudeau's disastrous economic policies. Policies that have led to rising inflation, skyrocketing housing costs, and a widening wealth gap. These are the very issues that have forced so many Canadians into financial hardship, making them reliant on food banks in the first place. The hypocrisy is staggering. Singh shows up at a food bank to pretend he cares about the average Canadian, while his actions in Parliament tell a completely different story. He's the one who's kept Trudeau in power, allowing the Liberals to continue their reckless spending and ineffective policies. This isn't about helping Canadians, it's about saving face. And let's talk about Trudeau's track record when it comes to the economy. Under his leadership, Canada has seen a staggering increase in the number of people relying on food banks. According to Food Banks Canada, the number of visits to food banks has surged by over 20% in just the past year. This is a direct result of Trudeau's failed economic policies, which have left millions of Canadians struggling to make ends meet. Trudeau has been more focused on virtue signaling and playing identity politics than on governing effectively. His government's mismanagement of the economy has led to rampant inflation, making everyday essentials like groceries and housing increasingly unaffordable. The absurdity of Jagmeet Singh's political maneuvering, and it's not hard to see why Canadians are increasingly frustrated. Just consider this a bag of potatoes that now cost $9. Last year, you could get the same bag for as little as the cost of a $2 bag of apples. But here's where things get even more concerning. I'm the one keeping Justin Trudeau in power, and I can't even tell the difference between a bag of apples and potatoes. Now, let's pause and think about that for a second. This is the state of leadership in Canada right now. We have politicians like Jagmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau who are so out of touch with reality that they can't even manage the basics of economics, let alone the complex issues facing our country. They're the ones making decisions that affect the lives of millions, and yet they seem completely oblivious to the consequences of their actions. The price of everyday essentials like a bag of potatoes has skyrocketed under Trudeau's government, and what has Jagmeet Singh done? He stood by and supported every one of Trudeau's disastrous policies. It's almost laughable if it weren't so infuriating. The cost of living is spiraling out of control, and it's Canadians who are paying the price literally. Trudeau's government has been a masterclass in economic mismanagement. Inflation is through the roof and basic groceries are becoming luxury items for many families. And what sings role in all this? He's the enabler. He's the one propping up this failing government, allowing Trudeau to continue his reckless spending and misguided policies. Let's be clear, this isn't just about the cost of potatoes or apples. It's about a broader pattern of incompetence and poor decision-making that has left Canadians worse off. Under Trudeau and Singh's watch, our economy has been driven into the ground. Prices are rising, wages are stagnant, and the gap between the rich and the poor is widening every day. But instead of addressing these critical issues, Trudeau and Singh are more interested in playing politics. They're more concerned with maintaining their grip on power than with actually helping the people they're supposed to represent. And that's where the real problem lies. They're out of touch, out of ideas, and out of their depth. How can we trust leaders who can't even distinguish between a bag of apples and a bag of potatoes to manage something as complex as a national political economy? It's no wonder that so many Canadians are struggling to make ends meet. The people in charge don't have a clue what's really going on. And let's not forget the sheer audacity of Singh's position. He's the one who's supposed to be fighting for the little guy, for the working class, for those who are hardest hit by rising costs. Yet, he's the one who's keeping Trudeau in power the very person responsible for those rising costs. It's hypocrisy at its finest. Singh likes to talk a big game about standing up for Canadians, but when it comes down to it, he's nothing more than Trudeau's yes man. He's complicit in every bad decision, every failed policy, and every economic misstep that has led us to where we are today. And for what? 
to keep his party relevant to secure a few more years in power. It's a betrayal of the very people he claims to represent. Stay tuned to Scoop Canada for more insights and updates.